Uh, I, I'm Tom Groom here in Roden County Offaly. I'm a suckler farmer here and I do AI with Dove. Keep suckler cows here on the farm, sell all the weanings, keep my own replacement heifers, sell the weanings, bulls and the heifers I don't want. Um, cull about eight or ten cows every year and have my replacements coming on. I do buy a few blue calves off customers that be using them on British region cows. Buy a few of those uh, for replacements. Our blues breed great stock, you know. Um, have some cementals here as well, the good milky cows, and um, that's why I like them, the good milky cows. If you have milk, you won't have calves. You know, they won't, they'll be no good, they won't weigh. I have all the cows calving, with the exception of there's 15 or 16 or 17 cows to calve here now in the spring. They will all calve in the next three weeks or two a month. And I calve all the cows in the autumn when the AI is quiet. I joined the VE in October 2009 and I have a lot of uh, beef customers now, a, lo a lot of beef customers. Actually, I have more beef customers than I would have dairy customers, but dairy does huge numbers. So it's very, very busy there from the 8th or 10th of April right up to the first week of July, you know, and then it starts to taper off a bit, you know. And it, look, at I three good months in the summer and I have two or two and a half good months in the winter. So it is, it's, it's, it's a good job, you know what I mean? And it cuts in well with the farming. The only things that to upgrade the place in the last five or six years was doing a lot of reseeding. On I've land rented long term, leasing on it, so I reseeded some of that, not at all, but some of it, you know. So that made great strides and grow great grass, you know what I mean? I was looking at the paper one day and I seen the herd watch on it advertising, and I just looked into it and I rang the lads about it. I think it was a month free, so I actually joined up immediately. And then I started to register calves in it. And it was very handy. I could be down here in the shed, calve a cow. And I, whatever date the calf's born, that's the date I put them down as. And I often had the calf register, calve a cow here in the calf register before I go back up to the house. So it's absolutely brilliant that way. And you can register a calf in less than 30 seconds. And it's out of your head. You get a blue card then two or three days later in the post. And that's that job done and dusted. And it leaves me with a record of when that cow calved and I'll know if she comes back into heat then, maybe four or five weeks later, not to AI her, because she's not long enough calved. So it's absolutely, that way alone, it's absolutely brilliant. Started registering the calves here, and then I started to play around with it myself, and I discovered it was not as hard as you'd be thinking. It's very easy to do it, buying in meal, registering your calves, your medicines, everything. Uh, it, it, it is simple. It used to be the old book. I think you could fit in 10 calves at a time, but I wouldn't always have 10 calves born here at the one time. So you were kind of sending off paperwork, you were paperwork and paperwork, and sure, between going to the post office and envelopes and stamps and writing, sure, you know what I mean? You didn't, it, it took an hour hopping and trotting where you can do it here in, you can do it here in 30 seconds, you know? If I am selling an animal to a man that's on herd watch, it's no problem at all. We go into compliance and then we go into movements, transfer from one herd to another, and we get, uh, we get a code number and I'll send it to him and he, he, he's compatible the two herd watch to herd watch, so it's no bother at all. You've, you can move an animal in less than five minutes from one farm to another. When I'm recording remedies with herd watch, I uh, get the prescribed medicines, I get the prescription, the prescribed medicine, and I zap the code on the bottle. All the relevant information will now come into herd watch for me, so it's there and it's in the medicine cabinet. If I use 50 mil out of a 100 mil bottle, well, it'll tell me in the, on the app that I have 50 mil left to use. So from that point of view, you can't go wrong. It's, it's, it's twice as fast as paperwork. When I, I, I put it through my AI handheld, and it goes to ICBF, and it all the relevant information goes back to Herdwatch uh, on my phone. Then on day 17 after AI, it'll notify me, keep an eye out for these in case she repeats. So from that point of view alone, that's absolutely brilliant, you know. For passing farm inspections, uh, I would highly recommend Herdwatch. Uh, the man or woman arrives to do the inspection. I hand him the phone. There's an untold amount of information for him there in front of him. So he, like, he, he, you can't, he can't complain that it's not there. It's there in front of him, man. In February, March of 2019, uh, Borbia contacted me here. There was an American research company here in Ireland. To see how we did things here, and Borbia asked myself and two or three other farmers in the country, throughout the country, uh, if they could visit us here. So um, 
Then the night before they arrived, I had a cow calved and uh, it was at about four o'clock in the morning. So I didn't feel like grabbing a phone to start registering a calf. But I registered it here sitting at the table and one of the, there was a lady on the job here from America and she couldn't believe how the app worked. Uh, well, she was very impressed with it and she couldn't believe about how you could register a calf literally in 20 to 30 seconds. She was mesmerized with it.